This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got Benny Ark and Uwa Sela here. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. You're looking like you're in a cage. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Good to have you here. Okay, we're starting real quick with um, Davido's album. He released his long-awaited project titled A Good Time on Friday, the 22nd of November 2019. The album features guest appearance from the likes of Chris Brown, Ward, Peruzzi, Naramali, to mention a few. Um, the album has since been met with praise, lukewarm opinions, and criticism from fans of Davido and non-fans alike. One of the reviews came from a man who claimed to be a Davido fan. He tweeted, and I quote, I am a Davido fan, but if we're being honest, after seven good years, all what Davido could come up with is an album of trash songs. I love Davido, but that album is a no-no. Even Rema's EP, better pass it. So that's how he put it. I tried to find a song that can beat Rema's do maybe, but can't find it. End of quote. Benny. Much respect to Davido. He's okay. a young man who's put so much... Um, into his craft mm -hmm. and his body of work speaks for him. Mm -hmm. Over the weekend and Saturday, I listened to the entire album. Um, I just don't know who was responsible for the song selections in this Good Time album. They could have selected better right? songs. Yes, and I, I want to believe this were not the best songs that could have made it into the album. Um, you could find one or two songs you can vibe to, but in all honesty, David is a talented singer. You can't take that away from him. He's done so well with his craft. But I will not listen to that album over and over again. Wow. I would not. I try to listen to eight songs with a mind to critique and enjoy it mm -hmm. right, um, as a media personality. And at some point, maybe because they were too, they used the same producers all through, too many songs sounded alike. You know, and, but for the comparison between Remus to me be, and another song, um, Remus is a different kind of vibe, it's a different kind of singer, so I can't necessarily compare David Doe's vibe. It's more like, they call it, um, it's, there was so much of Hawaiian music in his album, you know, feel good kind of music. So really? I can't compare. Yeah, so I can't compare. if, going by what this guy said, yeah. are you a David o fan though? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so much of a David o fan, but okay. I, I think I want to just chip in here. Mm -hmm. I think celebrities, when they've grown big to a status that like David o has attained, mm -hmm. sometimes they feel like no matter what they put out there, it will grow on the audience. Yeah. So I am thinking with this album, it's possible mm -hmm. that he feels or he believes that somehow, somehow, we would wing it and at the end of the day, it will grow on the audience and they will just come to accept it, you mm. know? So I think sometimes they get to that point where they begin to just relax and say, okay, let's just put it out there. Well, let it not look like we're not putting out something. Let's just I put know, out something. I know what you said is, is the fact <laughs> when it comes to Nigerian entertainers, they, they, they don't put as much hard work when they get to the top. They become very, I think the word is complacent, yeah. right? And they're just there. But this album, I, I would not agree With that Benny. the album <laughs> is trash. The no, album I didn't, is I didn't not trash. Was trash. No, he said yeah. it sounded yeah, that, alike. I'm, I'm going yeah. by what the guy mm. said. So I'm not going to agree that it's trash. I'm also not going to agree that there's no song on that album that can beat Remus, um, do maybe. I mean, we have Risky we on the same album. And we know how them. people were vibing to Risky. We had we have Fall on the album also. And some other of David O's song that you would have seen and or heard and you know it was a jam for a period of time. So I know maybe people expected a lot from David O much more, but those songs are songs that if you really listen to them, you would never call them trash or think that this does not make sense or wonder what is this one doing in the studio. You're just hearing it for the first time maybe. And there are songs that you hear for the first time and you, are, you love it immediately. But there are songs that you need to really understand what this person is trying to do to get it. Maybe it sounded monotonous, like you said, but I don't think that. But you know, there's a lot of pressure bad. on a lot of um, celebrities because when they get to that point, mm -hmm. you know, they are also under that pressure for acceptance. So mm -hmm. I think let's give him the benefit of doubt. It might just be his own high standards. <laughs> David, yeah. David I think Do, people David had Do, an yeah. expectation before. David Doe is a workhorse um, um, in the pack. Mm -hmm. I think he's he worked hard at his craft. He does. You can't take that away from him. Mm -hmm. But I think the expectation was pretty big high, and yeah. huge. Too high. And David Doe's song is not like, sorry, I'm going to compare now, Whiskey song. Mm -hmm. Whiskey song, they grow on you. Mm -hmm. But David Doe, we're used to, you hear the song, merely it hits you. you. Oh, you know? wow. So we have a higher standard for oh, yeah. David Doe. So this is it. Wow. So maybe, just maybe, with time, mm -hmm. the songs are going to grow on people. 
But it's not just that David Doe's vibe. It comes at you, whether you like it or not. But in this album, everything was just laid back, you know. Maybe it goes by the name, Good Time. Let's just relax and have, have a good time. Have a good time, time and relax. He has a new baby, so. Oh, yeah, no, but wow. he's a father of three oh, right now. So, okay. so how does that affect his album? He's trying to be relaxed. He's getting old. It's getting, it's, growing, it's getting old, so it's fine. Mm. Mm. Okay, moving on from that one, before I say what I'm not supposed to say, controversial Nollywood actress, Tonto DK, says, wickedness in Nigeria is poverty-driven. She said, and I quote, I know the Bible says the heart of a man is wicked, but des and desperately wicked, but I'm sure the wickedness in Nigeria is poverty driven. According Do you to agree? King Toto's <laughs> Do you KJV agree? revised. I think to some extent. Mm -hmm. So we have grown to that level of heartlessness right now because everybody's just thinking of my 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 stomach. Nobody's thinking anymore to okay how would this action make this other person feel? So I think mm -hmm. to some extent, the level of, um, we don't feel empathy anymore like we used to. Mm -hmm. So I think to some extent, you know, where we are today, everybody's just thinking money, Everyone money, money, money first. Mm -hmm. So they don't care what they do and who gets hurt in the process because of what is in front of them. They just want to just make money. So I think, yeah, I would agree with her to some extent. Mm. To some extent. I that uh, Tonto is saying something that people agree with. Benny. Um, I, don't know, I don't know where that thought is coming from. I don't okay. know what happened. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to know what happened. Yeah, um, she, she, Tonto is no one just to come out and say stuff just generally. Mm -hmm. um, the statement is too general for me to take to take it the way it is. And so who is she trying to solve? She's, There's the bagan gist. You know, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Because I just you know, saw so, something online, okay. I was just so, reading it. Mm -hmm. So there's one background gist, but I don't know whether I should give it out here. What's but there's the background a background gist, gist mm -hmm. between her and some um, blogger or something okay. that she supposedly paid to 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 write a bad negative press about Toin Lawani. I think I think that's where all of these things is coming oh. from. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of tone to decay going on online right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and people would definitely you know jump at the story because that's the truth. I mean, people would, they are going at it and saying that ah, because Tony Tony Lawani posted something and said karma is you know a you know yeah. she said the B word, B word and all that. And it's traced to this. So the allegation is that this person was paid to write a negative press about mm -hmm. Toyin Lawali's son. So it's, so it's yeah, adding so. up kind of, isn't it? It's kind of adding up, isn't it? So, <laughs> so I, I, but I'm going to take the good side of it all. You know, mm. I think what we're experiencing today in the world is not just a Nigerian thing. It's, it's all across the world. We have more human beings with less humanity. We're losing our humanity. People don't care what they do. They don't. they don't care to hurt you. They don't care to step on you. They don't care to mother you if they will be fed. So mm. we're, we're, we're losing our humanity. A lot of humans, but no humanity. Wow. OK. A lot of humans, but no humanity. That's how Absolutely. we go on a very quick break. But when we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Stop letting people use you. And this is coming from Anita Joseph as she slams Uche Elendu, who used to be her best friend. So she went on a whole rampage and she has not stopped. But let's take a look at this video before we have our conversation. Stop. It is time for the truth. Someone tagged me to a story on Kitty Jules and said, you need to clear this up. I said, okay, it's time. I only thought for someone some time ago 
my best friend came and said, Anita, why did you model someone else's hair? It will look like my hair is not original. You betrayed me. I said, how did I betray you? Am I your ambassador? She said, no. Do I owe you? She said, no. So what the f is your problem? It really caused a big fight. So I started asking some of my friends and my older friends. I said, Auntie, did I do anything to my best friend because I modeled someone else's hair? And she said, it is wrong. They said, no. So people, please, I want to ask, did I do anything wrong to Uche? Seriously, because I don't get it. It's only a witch that I wouldn't want you to prosper. You're my best friend. I model your hair. I freaking buy your hair. I still advertise them for you. You don't pay me for them. I take your lashes, I sell to my makeup artist because I have a lot of makeup artists. I sell to them, even the ones they don't buy. I pay for them. He didn't even know. But when we, when we started having problems, I had to tell you, do not pay for some lashes. Because it, I needed your business to excel. I needed it to, to move to the next level. I bought her close to one million from you. In as much as I was paying you small, small, it doesn't matter. But I bought her from you. The first time you bought the hair, I bought like 600 or 550 or so. You said you gave me the hair cheaper. Okay, so what? Because I bought a lot. You need to give it to me cheaper. Uche, I bought plenty hair from you. Never gave me one. Not, not even one. You should be ashamed of yourself. If I let Maggie, not even one. So, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't offer you. You offended me. Advertise your hair even more than you advertise your hair. I do mostly um, hair adverts because I have a good hair to wear them. I do clothes adverts because I have a good body to wear them. I have friends that do business together. They don't fight. But why is your own so different? Why are you fighting with everyone? One, 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 two, three people are saying the same thing. That means something is really wrong with you. You can't be fighting all over. You know you have, you, um, you have this beautiful face and a beautiful smile. Beautiful devil. Yes. So let's stop deceiving the public because when people ask you of me, she's good. And when people ask, ask me of you, I say, she's fine and all that. No, we're not fine. We're done. Last time we had, we had an argument, I said, listen, it's 2020 soon. I don't want no lies from you. Don't wish me happy birthday because the things you're going to write there, my best friend, she prays with me. She's this one. It's a lie. Yes, I used to pray with you, but all the other ones you write, she's this one where the, the lie. You're lying to the public. Stop deceiving them. We're not, we, we're done. We're done. You put it like you're not a good person. Are you a witch? Did our friendship come with condition? You didn't tell me that your friendship um, um, is with condition. You don't own me. You don't feed me. You don't give me anything. So what is really your problem? Eh? You're the boss to everybody around you. Say what's happened. Okay, so you see this video made by day when I saw it, like I laughed. Not because I'm in total support of what she's saying, but because I I get I understand Ibo. So all her exclamations, her body movements, it was interesting to watch. Yeah. However, the only thing I would say is why bring it to social media? Because everything she's saying, I think I understand and I don't think she's wrong. This is I mean we we are hearing one part now, we're not hearing from Uche, right? But from all she has said, I mean I've been in the shoes, I understand how it works, I understand how your friends feel like they're entitled to your social media followings, but you're not entitled to some level of discount or anything or even good enough to be the ambassador or to push their brand. You I'm know I'm so happy you brought up that. <laughs> you know, because you see, um, for me, I think um, I'm not happy. I'm not the kind of person that will bring my my stuff online. Mm -hmm. You know, I won't drag my friend out there. Yeah. But I think the closest people to you are the Don't people that you. do not value and respect your status as you grow. Maybe because they have watched you come from nothing or to become something. Time. Because they see you every um, every time. Mm -hmm. But I I feel that I feel what she's saying, and I, I see a lot of friends do that to friends. You know, I have a friend that is a makeup artist and she respects 
me every day. She sees, it because I, I pay her, at the same time I promote her, and she does not take it for granted, because mm -hmm. she knows that I, I am doing it because of the love and respect we have for, for each, each other. other. You know, not because I cannot just, do, I get mean, get else. somebody else to mm -hmm. do it. You know, you, you'll be begging people, come, let me, let me, give me the dress, or let me, whatever. I don't do that anymore. You know, if you respect me that, okay, I, I have that clout enough to, to be able to sell your product for you, then you, you respect me enough to say, take this product. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you give her? Why why I fault the friend from what she said? Because I've not heard from the friend. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you give her your hair in the first place to become her brand ambassador? Why, why, would you why now, couldn't you just sign her as a brand ambassador? That's what, why didn't you give her your hair to become your brand ambassador in the first place? Why did you wait for another brand to see her, appreciate her, and hand over the hair? Mm -hmm. And now you now come and now drag her and say, why are you not modeling my hair? That's that's totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Because that other brand respect and appreciate that the fact that this person is a good enough brand ambassador for our product. Our brand, yeah. So you didn't you didn't you didn't respect her brand. So I think, I think, um, I have not heard from Uche, so I, I don't want to, you know, drag Uche or whatever it is, but mm -hmm. friends should respect, when you see somebody growing, don't look at the person with the same eye that the person was. Yeah, value their status, that their status has changed. Okay, uh, yeah. Benny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is petty fighting for me, Very right? petty. <laughs> Pretty petty fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, the two friends, they go suck themselves out at the end of the day. But for me, what I draw up from everything she said, it's, being, being able to decipher friendship, loyalty, and business. Mm. Like you rightly said, friends, sometimes they feel entitled to your life. And which is talking from a place of pain, you are my best friend. Mm -hmm. And so going to wear that hair, you make me look, you make me look stupid. So I can understand that from that point. You know, but this is it, loyalty. Uche was expecting loyalty. Right. But she was business minded. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't owe you anything. They're paying me for this. Where does your loyalty lie? And I see, you need to look no, at Oma's face so right now. Don't, you don't, don't, you, don't, no. you, you don't loyalty is, yeah. is mutual. Mm -hmm. If you, no, loyalty is mutual. You don't expect me to be loyal to you when you are, you're not also loyal to my brand. Mm. No, but, but Come on. was there anything she was supposed to be loyal to? Was there any brand she, which was supposed to be loyal to, to this other lady? I don't think so. You know, so at the end of but the day, did you hear uh, her say she pays, she spends money to pay for hair? Yeah, but she, and she pay, at buys disc, for at people. Discounted it price. doesn't matter. You know, my makeup artist, I get discount I get discounts. price from strangers. <laughs> anyway, even go let's, there. Like let's move on quickly to our last story. They will be uh, which, right. is, yeah, <laughs> which is on Harry Song, um, who says he'll be getting married in 2020. In a recent chat with Sunday Scoop, the 38 year old singer said, and I quote, Yes, I'm going to get married. I found Isioma. I found love and I will get married to my Isioma come 2020. Things like this are important and sensitive. One needs to pray about it. I'm a Christian, and when I'm having a strong urge, I turn to God. I also carried my grandmother along. She's also a Christian and loves me sincerely. We prayed about it and got a revelation about Isioma. <laughs> Though we have had some other people saying they are Isioma among other distractions, but I carefully picked her because she's an amazing person. I have not proposed to her, but I will soon. End of quotes. Now, I feel like this is a promotion for an Isioma track that is dropping next year. <laughs> That's how I feel, but what do you think? Wait, I don't get it. Mm. He's not even proposed to us. No. <laughs> so why, why is why this publicity? Saying, I feel like this is a song that will be dropping in 2020. Where do celebrities draw the line? I don't get it. For publicity stunt. Do yeah. we need... I don't think they draw the line anymore. Did the public, in Nigeria. Did the public need to be aware of this? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this is a private affair with his family and mm. whoever Isioma is. Like you rightly said... <laughs> Is this another publicity stunt for mm -hmm. a song about to be dropped? Because all of this information is not necessary. I was even thinking it was engaged to the person already. Mm -hmm. And putting out all the details of who the person is, I'm like, that is not necessary. And the, what I said the other time, the more stuff like this come up to the media, there's every possibility this might not even come true at the end of the day. Is there so, an um, That's the question. I wish Harry Song got the best in 2020. Mm -hmm. And hope it's him and it's him at the time and not pretty okay. good. And they get to live happily ever after. That's what I wish him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> speechless. Where do they draw the line? That's all I say. You Between know? privacy yeah. and... Yeah, like it doesn't yeah. make sense. You, mm -hmm. I think at some point... Oh, well, I'm speechless. Let's just... Speechless? Oh, how is that makes you speechless? <laughs> yeah. Ah. The information was unnecessary. Put it yeah. wasn't it wasn't necessary. That, I mean, oh, that the unnecessariness, if there's a word like that, makes me feel like this I think is it's this pressure, right, yeah. that causes a lot of um, relationship to go under mm -hmm. and a lot of marriages to break. 
Mm. So when when you keep doing this, you know, all the recent um, clamping down and whatever for that um, Instagram and all of those things that, I mean, all the things that they've been doing is because of all of all of this pressure. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't a young relationship that you've not even started. You're already drawing a lot of publicity around it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. I mean, his grandmother because and now you involved, just start so keeping up with the Joneses. You're, you're, you now start trying mm -hmm. to make sure Isyoma, because Isyoma, everybody will be looking out for Isyoma. Mm -hmm. And trust me, when the nose is not straight or the eyes is not whatever, if truly there's an Isyoma, if it's not mm -hmm. a publicity stunt, mm -hmm. then she's going to be under a lot of pressure. And you don't want to put that on a mean or girl. I don't think it's, it's fair. I wouldn't yeah. do that. And then all the praying and God and all that stuff, getting revelations. Doesn't make sense. Mm. It's unnecessary. It Do you guys know my name is Isioma Do? Really? Oh, okay. Are you the Isioma? Let not us know now. I'm not Isioma, but oh, okay. just saying, in case you're searching for an Isioma. <laughs> I'm available. Anyway, I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also watch our content and this particular episode on YouTube at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to Michael Ankos, Benny Ak, and Owa. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, my name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.